everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today I have a really simple, really ex inexpensive craft for you. It's something you can use to decorate your own home, um, especially because Easter is only a couple of days away. This is actually something I was able to make with items that I already had in my home. So hopefully if it's something you're interested in, it's stuff you have lying around the house as well so that you can make these really cool, really inexpensive gifts as well. Let me show you what you need to get started. For this project, you're gonna need some buttons. Um, you can choose different types, different shapes. I have a star, I have some hearts, um, different sizes, but you definitely want something that's a decent size. You don't want a button that's gonna be too small. This right here is a pretty good size, about the size of a quarter. You're also going to need some twine. I have a few different sizes of twine um, as far as the thickness is concerned so that I can choose which one I like the best. You're going to need some old pieces of wood. Um, this is some pieces of the flooring that we had left over from a project that we were working on. I'm gonna be using those for mine today. I have a way to measure my ribbon and I have a lot of different types of ribbon. This is some lace. You want them to be different widths, and once you see how this is gonna to go together, you will see why the different widths and the different textures are going to be important. So let's get started. One thing I forgot to mention is a hot glue gun. I'm going to get mine plugged in so that it can start warming up. In the meantime, I'm going to decide which ribbons I'm gonna use, and I think I've decided to use this pretty burlap ribbon. I'm gonna layer it with a blue ribbon, and then I'm gonna layer it with this pretty sheer ribbon. So this is what mine is going to look like, and I think that's gonna look really nice. The first thing I'm gonna do is choose my piece of wood so that I know exactly what size I need and then I can start measuring my ribbon. So I'm gonna measure my wood because I wanna make sure that my ribbon has plenty of room to wrap around on both sides. So I wanna cut my ribbon a little bit longer. And I'm gonna start with my thickest piece that's gonna go on the bottom. I'm gonna measure and cut that for each side. Now I wanna measure my other pieces to be the same length as my bottom piece and trim them. I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue each piece one at a time down onto the back side of my wood so that they will stay in place. This is what the front looks like with the first two layers of ribbon. And now I'm gonna add my last layer. All right, so I have one direction done. Now I'm gonna go across a little bit closer to the top I don't wanna go right in the middle, I wanna go a little bit higher. So I'm gonna start with this piece. All right, so I have all of my pe my pieces glued down. I'm just gonna let them dry because I wanna make sure they're secure before I start tying any twine around this centerpiece. 
So as you can see, I did glue them down, but I left them a little bit loose because I do want there to be a little bit of movement when I am using my twine. So I am choosing to use a thinner twine. Um, you can use something thicker if you prefer, but I think for this one, I'm gonna use a nice thin twine. I'm just gonna take it and cut a decent amount off so that I can wrap it around a couple of times, tie a bow, and add my button. I'm gonna go under this corner and go underneath this pe these pieces as well and come up on the other corner. And I just want to pull it a little bit and tie a knot. And then I'm going to take this piece and do the exact opposite direction. I'm just going to tie a little bow on here to stick out the sides of my button. I'm going to trim these. And I'm going to use this heart shaped button and I'm going to hot glue it on right here in the middle. And this one's finished. And the whole time I was working on this project, I had a little friend sitting here watching me. My little crafty dog. This is an up close view of our finished project. I think it turned out really, really good. I'm actually glad that I used the thinner twine for this one. I think it really, really was just a perfect little addition. And I love how the colors of the ribbon stand out from the wood. My favorite part though is the heart button right in the middle. This is another one that I made. It's a little bit shorter and it's using a more vibrant red velvet ribbon. And I used a thicker twine for this one as well. So this is just a little bit of a different look. I also, instead of tying it the twine from corner to corner like I did that we made in the one we made together. I only tied the twine around here just to squeeze those pieces together. So this is another option for you. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed making these beautiful cross wood decorations with me, especially with Easter right around the corner. Another thing that these are really, really great for are if you're going to a wedding, these would make a beautiful wedding gift. You could even put the name of the couple and the date that they got married. And this would be a beautiful reminder in their home of their special day. And it would be something handmade by you that you're giving to them and they will cherish it forever. It's also a great little Easter gift if you are going to an Easter party with your family or your friends. This is something quick and easy that you can put together and it's something beautiful that they can set out during the holiday um, if they would like next year as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to find the items that you needed just around the house and it didn't even cost you anything to make this great little gift. Otherwise, I hope that you were able to make one for your own home. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!